is on abortion and why does California allow abortion to occur and be legal here? Um, murder is the unlawful, unlawful uh, premeditated killing of human being by another, so this is in the dictionary, um, which actually is not the same, even worse. I mean, I believe the reason why this this um, pro-life topic has come to mind is due to a story I was reading online about um, Jennifer McKenna, a 29-year-old married woman who passed away on February 7, 2013 um, because she was terminating an advanced pregnancy. Um, I believe abortion should be legal and prohibited due to the uh, permanent damage and unfairness to human beings. Um, I'm gonna, I might top my claims with one of the view of my claims would be uh, abortion are life threatening to women. Uh, women cause, abortions cause psychological damage and I think it's um, wrong to turn a, a child's a baby's life just because he may be sick or you know diagnosed with Down syndrome. Um, for my first claim which was abortion is life threatening to women. Uh, more than 400 women have died from legal abortion since 1973. Um, and my second claim would be about uh, abortions cause psychological uh, damage. Uh, the 2008 peer review study published in the, um, in the public health found the young, wo young adult women who are underage abortion may be increased uh, increased risk for uh, depression, as well as uh, more than 173,000 American women found that um, women who abort were 154% more likely to commit suicide. Uh, eugenic termination is wrong and discriminates uh, children which come in the womb with a disability does, doesn't make them any less than, any less than actual, you know, that aren't sick. Uh, over 80% of the women have abortion when child is diagnosed with Down syndrome, and I believe that it is wrong. Um, and it is proven that uh, it's painful for children. Well, when we have when the abortion is taking place, that a fetus feel pain during the abortion procedures. Uh, they respond to the pain with the um, spinal reflux. And um, that's all I kind of have to say. All right, Laura, you identify your proposition, but it's a proposition of policy supported by a, con uh, a dependent clause, which is a value claim, and you really need to claim a fact here. Now, the first and second supporting points, those are claims of fact, and I think you could put those together and make a more effective claim of fact that talks about uh, the, uh, how abortion is dangerous. Uh, it's a dangerous medical practice. You could keep it as simple as that, and then talk about the dangers to women and uh, both physical and to their mental health and that could be the basis of your factual claim there and I think that that there is a claim of fact built in there now your proof on those two points I think is a little bit thin uh, you've got the death of 400 women since 1973 uh, which is when abortion was legalized uh, who were undergoing legal abortions all right well that's uh, an important number but I don't know any context on that for instance, comparatively, how many women have died in childbirth? Uh, I, that would be one of those things. If you could say that you know, del full-term delivery of a child is substantially safer than having an abortion, that would be a good way of making that comparison to talk about whether or not it is safe. Um, 
if, it, if you compared it to other medical procedures, for instance, and uh, what the level of death or um, mortality is for people who undergo any type of surgery, if abortion is higher than that, then I think you've got a stronger argument on that particular point. Uh, you, on the second point, your evidence was a little bit better because you have a study that you make a reference to that talks about uh, uh, the risk of mental health, how they feel depression, and the risk of suicide. So I thought that that was a, a little bit better piece of evidence. Again, um, I think you need some more information on that point to show that there are these long-term consequences. Uh, that's, I know there's a lot of controversy on that kind of research. The stuff about eugenics and about it not being fair or legitimate, those are value claims, not really appropriate for this particular assignment, and you, you don't really develop them very much anyway. Obviously, uh, it's a little undercooked. You, you use only about half of your time. And, and you, you've got to have a better exit than the porky pig line, you know. I guess that's all I've got to say, folks. Uh, you, just come back to the, the, the original proposition. This is something that we ought to get rid of, although that is a policy proposition, so maybe you shouldn't come back to that. Okay, thank you very much.